Hello everyone, back tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for, for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 6th of December and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. May I run into around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of December. I think running up towards Christmas now. Uh, and I'll get to that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video series, I said UK weather forecast. And I'm going to be live for channel members at 8pm this evening. So if you're a channel member, check into your second November channel member live stream. And I shall see you then. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, going to start off with the latest with that from EarthNordSchool.net. Showing that low pressure is dominating the weather in the Atlantic. Active weather system through there. No weather system through there. It's a proper Atlantic German flow, but it is turning a lot milder with uh, parcels of air coming up from the Azores and whatnot. Central temperature is currently sitting at 8.7, that is 2.3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average, and it's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the uh, 25th of November. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Northampton today. The red line is the 30 year. Upper air temperature average for Northampton. Only off about average at the boat. You'll see the upper air temperatures lifting up, though, over the uh, next 24 hours or so. And then falling backwards again as we come towards month's end. After that, hovering quite close to the long-term 30-year average. Although there is a lot of scatter uh, within that with warmer ensemble members up here and cooler ensemble members down there. Precipitation-wise, could be a lot of dry weather. For the next few days, but it will be turning uh, more unset. Well, say dry weather, it's going to be some wet weather. Actually, push these will die tomorrow, <laughs> but like that's going to fizzle out generally. Not overly unsettled until we get through to the weekend, and then next we're looking quite unsettled. Early December also looking like we're seeing a bit of a deluge type pattern. Temperature normally it's next five days to the first of December, just a little bit above average. The 14 day is uh, generally above average, except. In Scotland, where it's a bit cooler. Precipitation anomalies the next seven days of the 3rd of December. Most areas coming out wetter than normal. 8 to 14 day uh, tells a similar tale. Notice a little bit dry above uh, for Scotland, the wettest weather uh, for England where that could be indicative of projection starting to move southwards. Of course, that would tie in with temperatures becoming colder in the north. Right, well, let's start going from chart data. We're going to have a look at the midnight runs first of all. We will see how much of the dwells there uh, we can get in as well. Hint won't be all that much. <laughs> right, okay, well, uh, let's start off with the uh, GFS so. So, no pressure bringing a very unsettled uh, spell of weather as we go through uh, the course of Friday into Saturday. Heavy rain there, focus on England and Wales. Could be quite chilly with that as well. And then low pressure just dries in from the Atlantic. So, all the way up to the middle of next week, looking really unsettled with uh, the UK Met there. Uh, moving on to Icon again, we see low pressure. In control uh, through the weekend into next week. Again, it's low, bringing plenty of heavy rain across England and Wales. Could even be something a little bit more wintry tied in uh, with that one, maybe. Uh, well, anyway, that gets out of the way. And then low pressure heads into the Atlantic onslaught pattern. Really, with Icon as we go through next week, a very wet start to uh, November there. But GFS. It's looking like this. Again, low pressure is in control and it's in the ascendancy, bringing lots of wind and rain in from off the Atlantic. And the low pressures keep on coming all the way up to day 10. Beyond day 10, well, it looks like it stays unsettled there with the midnight GFS. Turns a bit cold as well with winds in from the north. But overall, this isn't a cold pattern. It's just like. Um, uh, a zonal Atlantic driven type uh, push of, of Atlantic driven westerly winds. So we'll have some cooler interludes, but like it's not a cold pattern. 
Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys where you get to subscribe to. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, G uh, GM, again, low pressure, bringing uh, cooler and um, pretty quite wet spell potentially yourself over the weekend into next week. Low pressure dries in from off the Atlantic, bringing lots of wet and windy weather in with it and the low pressure keeps on coming all the way up to day 10 check that out that's day nine low pressure developing along the southwest approach that's day 10 that low has our name on it particularly for england and wales uh and has a deluge uh associated with it i think and then uh the ecm is rounding it all off again low pressure is dominating the weather over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. More low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Lots of wet weather driving in uh, from the west uh, with that one. Trying to raise heights a little bit there to our north and northeast, but not really successfully doing so. We just keep those areas of low uh, coming. Uh, into the extended with the ECM, we look like this. We generate a very significant area of low pressure there. Bit of a subly tracking low. That might deliver something a bit wintry on its northern edge. Again, it might just deliver a load of cold rain. <laughs> and uh, we end up with the ECM looking like that. Uh, so a bit of an attempt to build some high pressure across Russia. But I think really that low... 97 millibars is going to be the a driving and the deciding factor. Now, we can't show you much 12s that here, I don't think. So, uh, we'll have a look at the UK map. Well, that's not out yet. So, really, all I can show you is uh, is ICOM at this stage. Jeff is about halfway out, so not much point showing that. GM isn't finished as well. So, ICOM 12s then, looks like that. And again, it's just a confirmation of that Atlantic onslaught pattern for the course of next week. Well, have a look, good look at the uh, trails there with channel members, though, uh, later on this evening. Right, OK, we're well, seeing the Pacific Day's forecast based on the ECM midnight run. Low pressure again driving in from off the Atlantic. So that's a weekend low. Lots of heavy rain with that. A little bit of snow suggested. Pretty parts of Wales and the Midlands could be interesting. Mm, looks very marginal, I have to say. We'll know perhaps by uh, by uh, the end of week. Well, you'll think so, because that's happening on Friday night, Saturday. <laughs> uh, beyond that, low pressure keeps on coming. Lots of heavy rain in from the Atlantic as well. That's day 10. We have another bout of rain heading in from the west. These are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today, ball day 10 for the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 6th of December. 20 members of the East Ham Ensemble bringing low pressure in from the West. 14, again, low pressure coming in from the West. 11, with low pressure dominating the weather. A minority option of 6 with some higher pressure to the North East. Low pressure down to South. That brings the wettest weather into Southern Counties. In two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. It'll get us to the 11th of December. 13. Members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure continuing to bring very unsettled weather with it. Uh, another 13, including, uh, including the Charlie Operation Run, trying to build some sort of a ridge to the east of the uh, country. But again, low pressures out to the west. We've got 10, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Uh, we've got 8 with low pressure, deep low pressure over the country. And then 7 with a Scandinavian high and potentially Quite a cold, easterly wind. All the options, or nearly all the options, look very unsettled at day 10. A little bit more um, uncertainty at day 14, though. We'll see. Right, OK. Well, let's just have a very quick look at the CFS, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar height anomalies. I've broken down into week pairs. First week pairs taken from the 26th of November, 2nd of December. So, uh, in the next week, the uh, CFS... Is suggesting a ridge. Um, right. Well, I'm not sure about that. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, uh, this one's a bit more likely. This is week two. The 3rd to the 9th of December. Low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So looking uh, unsettled. Week three is going to be the uh, 10th to the 16th of December. Again, low pressure 
driving in from the Atlantic, keeping me unset where we're going. Very wet December on the way, if that's right. And then uh, week four rounds it all off. It's the 17th, 23rd December, just approaching Christmas. Low pressure still to our west and southwest. High pressure to our east and northeast. And so the deluge pattern goes on. Probably very mild with that as well. We will be bringing the wind in the southerly direction. Wouldn't take that much to start back in the winter, more of a south east or easterly. But as it is, I think just a very wet, but also my December being indicated there. Up to Christmas, of course, what happens after that remains to be seen. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Women's and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We'll have more updates with you tomorrow. And don't forget the second channel member live stream for uh, November 2025 is on the way at 8pm this evening. If you're a channel member, check in and I shall see you a bit later on. For this one, that's all for now and thanks for watching.